Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Boy Caden. I'm G. I'm Sophie. And today we've got another food wars, US versus UK, but this time it's KFC. KFC, Ooh. gonna love a bit of chicken. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Do you like KFC? I used to love KFC. Yeah. It's gone okay. right downhill. I, I think that as well. The quality. Yeah, yeah. I believe that. Yeah. I believe that too. Mm. But um, remember that time when KFC mm. ran out of chicken? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest thing. No point opening his mouth. He's actually calling the police. <laughs> And they had to call him back like this. This is not an emergency. Yeah. Like, like no, but like, there's bigger things going on. Oh no! I remember walking around and seeing every KFC was short, and I was like, bloody hell! Crazy, How do you run yeah. out of chicken? Like, chicken, as a chicken shot. Shot. Exactly. So it's not like chickens are going extinct or anything. At least, well, anyway, <laughs> let's give it a go. I, the things I hate about KFC the most, though, is the the, the chips, fries. Yeah. Yeah. The bottom tier for yeah. me. Yeah. Mm. Out of like fast food restaurants. But they used KFC, to be quite good. KFC chips are so. Low. Grim, yeah. Mm. They're just a bit like, there's, they just need cooking, I think, longer. They're just not very, like... They don't even look appetising. When you look mm. at them, it's I a bit like... Yeah. Mm. It might be different in the, the UK, in the US, though, yeah. so yeah. we'll have a look. Yeah. Hey, KFC, it starts at regular. This is what a regular drink looks like. This is what a US regular... That didn't start from the beginning, did it? No. From calorie counts and portion sizes, we wanted to find out the difference between a US and a UK KFC. This is Food Wars. Now you can't actually get a small drink at a UK KFC. It starts at regular. This is what a regular drink looks like. This is what a US regular looks like. And this is what a large drink looks like. And this is what a US large looks like. This is a regular fries, and this is a large fries. Here's a US regular, right? You want to go the next size up? This is the US large. Gosh! That's the family of six. That's loads of fries. I know. Jesus. I mean, at least you can see the, like what you're paying for. You're paying yeah. for more, whereas ours look exactly the same. Yeah. Just a different box. Yeah. <laughs> I hate the paper bags as well. Yeah, so it's a box Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look at how big that is. It's like five of those ones that he had. Let's find out how much a large fries weighs in the UK. Let's weigh our large fry. Oh man. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> packed in there, dude. Look at that. Is that everything? This is what a regular popcorn chicken looks like. Oh, we that, have. That is something that's a leap from KFC, the popcorn, popcorn chicken. chicken. Yeah. It's great. A large popcorn chicken. And this is what a large popcorn chicken looks like. And if you want to go even larger than the large, get yourself a popcorn chicken box. <laughs> something for you and your buddies, I'm sure. Not eating this by yourself. You definitely need that air. <laughs> I would be all over that, to be honest. Did I lose any? No, no way. Am I doing this without? Oh, don't jinx it. Oh, oh. Yep. Yep. And oh, uh, yep. Is that all? Crumb. So much need that for something crazy. In the UK, you can get buckets in three sizes. You can get a six-piece. You can get a ten-piece. Or you can get a fourteen-piece. Also, they've just put more chicken in the same size bucket. Box it, yeah. yeah, just crumbed it in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. Eight piece. Oh, eight. Uh, Twelve piece. Good, it's good, good, good. It's juicier. This is. I'm not gonna. I can't even dump it. Look at the size. Yo. Of it. The actual chicken itself it's looks massive, bigger, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's like half a chicken <laughs> each thing, do you know what I mean? It's massive. Look how much chicken this is. Oh my god, what a mess. <laughs> I hope food was not wasting all this food after as well. Yeah, I know. I'll eat, I'll eat that. That's like an actual mountain. Yeah, send it to Asian. Yep. <laughs> 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 
Unfortunately, KFC in the UK doesn't disclose its ingredients, but what we do know is calories. For example, in the UK, a drum is 170 calories. And in the US, one of these guys for the original recipe is 130 calories. But if you get extra crispy, like this guy right here, it's actually 170. USA is actually still winning on calories. That's largely thanks to the sides and the drinks. If you were to walk into a UK KFC and order a three-piece meal and they gave you a drum, a thigh, and a wing with a large fries and a large Pepsi, that would come to 1,155 calories. Our large fry is 930 calories, and our large drink is 380. And if you were to order a three-piece with a large fry and a large drink in the U.S., it would be roughly this many calories. Wow. The KFC in the U.S. has released its ingredients list. I would like to go over the ingredients of the French fries at the KFC in the U.S. All right, here we go. Sea salt, monosodium glutinamate, maltodextrin, salt, dextrose, vegetable powders, tricalcium. I just know he hates this bit because yeah. he's not yeah. able to he's pronounce like, any yeah. of the words. <laughs> phosphate, hydrolyzed soy proteins, spices, soybean oil, natural flavors, potassium chloride, paprika extract, color, turmeric extract, color, potatoes, obviously, vegetable oil. It has soybean oil, canola, cottonseed, and or sunflower. Uh, beached, beached. Bleached wheat flour, and it contains 2% or less of rice flour. Durham wheat, whoa, simolina? Simolina, simolina, simolina. Durham wheat, Simolia, Simolina. I don't know what that word is. Semolina. It looks like it's easy, but it's hard to say. Simolina, Simolina, Dermweed, Simolina. There you go. Dextrin, salt, degermed yellow cornmeal. Oh, thank God it's been degermed. Cornstarch, leavings, <laughs> sodium acid pyrophosphate, sodium bicarbonate, dextrose, again. Xanthan gum, there he is. Anato extract color, disodium dihydrox, disodium dihydrogen, pyrophosphate, in parentheses, to maintain color. Okay, we add so many chemicals to our fries, we add more chemicals to make it look like it doesn't have any chemicals. Thank you, the sodium dehydrate, dehydrate, what the f <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Here are some things you can only find on the menu at a UK KFC. So instead of a chicken sandwich, what we call ours is the chicken fillet burger. I think it's pretty much the same thing. It's like breaded and fried chicken between two buns with some lettuce and some mayonnaise. We also have something called the Zinger Burger, which is pretty much the same thing, but the spice level. That's what I, I get. Love that. a Zinger That's burger. what I get if I go KFC. I'll normally get a Zinger Burger, popcorn, chicken, fries, and a drink, but I probably wouldn't even eat the fries. We had a friend called Paul, and when we used to go through the drive thru used to order, but he used to pretend he had a lisp, so he'd say, Can I have a Zinger Burger, please? What? <laughs> what you pretend? Yeah. Wow. Well, because he was just goofy. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Funny. Level is amped up a little bit. You can also turn these burgers into a tower burger. What that does is adds cheese and a hash brown to the burger, which in my opinion, very worthwhile addition. We have some stuff on our KFC they can't get in the UK. And surprisingly, some things I thought were like kind of like paramount to the KFC menu. Mashed potatoes and gravy. This to me seems like something that is just always been part of KFC along with the chicken. Look at this mashed potatoes, man. It's a tub of mashed potatoes. Okay, let's make a mess. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Put that on the cover of Gravy Aficionado magazine. <laughs> Another thing I didn't realize you guys don't have, biscuits, or as you call them, scones. This is called a famous bowl. It is mashed potatoes and gravy and corn topped with popcorn chicken, topped with cheese, all in one bowl. Uh, yeah, this thing, I don't think I've ever had one of these. Because it looks Disgusting. ridiculous. Now Joe, I'm glad you also think that the famous bowl doesn't look that great, because to me that looks like a nightmare. Now we have a slightly different approach to sides in the UK compared to the US. For example, our corn comes on the cob. Baked beans. These are slightly different to the regular beans that you might put on toast in the UK. Uh, they have kind of a barbecue sauce flavor to them. There's a few other language differences, like instead of chicken tenders, we call ours chicken mini fillets. Mini fillets, chicken tenders, they look exactly the same. We got those. <laughs> yes, they have corn, but we have ours off the cob, which I think is um, not as good as on the cob. This pile right here, and I know, they do have wings at KFC in the UK, yes I know, but only in the US can you order them by 48. <laughs> 
48 wings. I'm dying right now, man. It smells like so buffalo good. Buffalo sauce as well. You know what? I was going to say, I don't think at KFC you can get them like buffalo sauce wings. No, I don't think you can. You can't. Make your mouth water, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Making you hungry. I want one of them. <laughs> It does look nice. It that. does, doesn't it? But 48, oh, I don't know if I reckon I can get through all of them. Maybe 46? I guess 47, you know, I, was, I was more yeah. than 47. I guess mark, it, it's aimed at buying like a whole family, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you would have thought so. Yeah, again, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Or an orphanage. Yeah. <laughs> or a school party. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Something like that. The pot pie? When I saw a pot pie in the menu, I was like, yeah, a little side pot pie. No, dude, this thing is like a a puppy, this thing has got, got some weight to it. I've got to say, the pot pie actually looks quite good. We love meat pies here in the UK. You'll often see people tucking into like a steak and kidney pie or a chicken pie, but yeah, they should probably put that on the menu over here. I think they'd cash in on the British market. Let's talk sauces, it's sauce talk. Sauce talk. I think that uh, these sauces are also specific only to the US and not the UK. The KFC finger looking good sauce. See that? What? We also have the summertime barbecue sauce. What are uh, we guessing that is? But finger licking God. That buffalo sauce. Um, um, like a um, ranch? Yeah. You reckon like a ranch? No, she said a ranch. I thought you said yeah because you were agreeing to her. Oh, you agree with No, no, you said ranch. buffalo and I said yeah. yeah. So buffalo. you think it's probably buffalo I as well? I like a buffalo mm. sauce. You'll have to let us know what that is in the comments. Yeah. Uh, honey mustard. And, of course, buttermilk ranch. There are a few sauces which are exclusive to the UK. For example, we have this spicy supercharger dip, which is kind of like a spicy mayo type oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have yeah. some sweet chili sauce. Garlic mayonnaise, another really good option. Garlic mayo on chips is just fantastic. Why don't we have those sauces here? Oh man, I want those. <laughs> now, usually we'd have even more exclusive menu items to show you, but unfortunately, UK KFCs are currently operating with a reduced menu. Here's what you could normally find on the menu at a UK KFC. A vegan burger, the Big Daddy burger, a range of chicken wraps, some rice boxes, onion rings, curry sauce, crushums, and a full range of hot drinks, including English breakfast tea. I've actually got a bone to pick with crushums because they used to be my favorite milkshake out of any fast food restaurant. Mm. And I then I didn't have one for ages type thing, and I had one recently, and it was the worst thing ever. It was like there was like still loads of little crunches of ice, like little. Oh really? Yes, yeah, so like when you drink oh. it, you still get ice in in your mouth. Yeah, it's so just it's so watered down. Chocolate. It's like it, it, mm. it tastes like chocolate. Like I got like an Oreo milkshake, and it just literally almost tastes like water. Nice. Mm. Should write in. Yeah. I don't know where what it is here. Saying? I don't know where it is here. KFC has just gone right downhill. Yeah, I know. To the point where even when you think, oh, there's nothing else, you still wouldn't have it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I do order it sometimes, to be fair. I do, I do like it. Mm. It's, it's one at the top never... of the road here, and how many times yeah. have, do we go past it and we never ever go, oh, let's have a KFC? Because mm. you know it's just going to be grim. Mm. Yeah. They also added some like buffalo and barbecue like chicken mm. bites. Oh, they did? Yeah, that were really did nice. I don't, I don't know if they're still on the menu. I think but... the last time I went to KFC has got to be about six years ago. Really? Because mm. I had it and it was that disgusting. I definitely had a KFC within the past three months. I think I didn't have one since I was about 12. I was, I was going to say, yeah, yeah, say you so were I vegetarian. I never went for years, about 15 years. Yeah. And then I tried it the other month because my friend came round and he really wanted a KFC. So I was like, okay, let's order KFC. Yeah. It was all right, actually. I think we got like, just like the Zynga burger and like yeah, some chips. Yeah, that's the go-to. And really, it was all right, it? Yeah. yeah. But I wouldn't like crave it again. No. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather go and even Mac is. Yeah. yeah, fun fact. Sophie was a vegetarian until she discovered chicken nuggets. <laughs> yeah, just, just <laughs> to piss her mum off. <laughs> <laughs> I won that bet. <laughs> At the UK, you can get teas, including uh, English breakfast tea. Now, technically, you can't get tea at the KFCs in the US, but you can get something called Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning, which I think is probably pretty close. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly the same as a breakfast tea. <laughs> Dude. I don't really, I've never 
seen that Mountain Dew before in my life. I mean, I mean I've seen a Mountain Dew, but like that. Yeah. Flavour in a, no. in like a cup in, mm. in a fast food restaurant. You never see no, Mountain Dew in like a fast food. Not no. in the UK. No. We'd get Sprite, wouldn't we? Still be, I mean, yeah. Yeah. They'd probably get Sprite probably. as well. I don't know how similar <laughs> it is. Mountain Dew is a lot sweeter, I think. It's lemon and lime, isn't it, Mountain Dew? I think so. Yeah, because it's, it's clear. It's clear. No, oh, is it? It's almost like a yellowy green colour. Oh, wait, is it? Yeah. Or is it just a bottle? I don't know. No, I, 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 the bottle is, but I think if you pour yeah. it out, it might be like a, a, a light yellow green right. colour. So it's lemon and lime flavoured then. <laughs> which I might be wrong. Sprite is <laughs> like lemonade. Closest is lemonade, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 It's nice. Hmm. Clean the hungry. <laughs> I know, I actually kind of fancy a KFC. Now. I do, yeah. Should we get one for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> And then yeah. complain about how grim it was. <laughs> yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like and subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.